Are you ready? Everybody's ready? Okay. Well, I, I get to make out the schedule for MCs and stage managers for the Walnut Valley Festival this year. Because I get to do that, I pick this set to be the MC of. If fantasy football has a draft, and if Western music had a draft, this would be the A number one team <laughs> sitting on stage here. Please welcome Dave Stamey, Junie Fisher, Bill Barwick, Roz Brown, and Barry Ward with Songs of the West. Hey. Take it away. Going round robin, Dave's in charge. Out here day since the country seen a drop of rain Forty-four cents of grass began to burn Thirsty cattle are milling round the old creek bed Dusty winds where the waters used to churn Dusty winds hear them blow Dusty winds morning low Night and day on they go Those dusty winds Not a cloud in the sky, but still the sun shines dim. Yet enough to turn the scenery dark and brown. Looking westward is a dust cloud moving high in the sky. Shows the trail of fifty settlers leaving town. Dusty winds hear them blow Dusty winds morning low Night and day on they go Those dusty winds When it's late in the evening my cabin all alone It's so lonesome when that wind comes howling through I think of all the settlers heading west out of town Kind of wish I'd left here with them too Dusty winds hear them blow Dusty winds blow Dusty wind, night and day on they go. Those dusty wind. Thanks very much. What you got, Junie? Was some other man 
Suddenly both of their pistols were flashing. Roberto lay dead and the young cowboy ran. I heard a galloping horse leaving town. Picked up my dead brother's gun. Ran down the street in my red velvet slippers. I'd kill that cowboy for what he had done. I came to my senses at the edge of El Paso. The streets were so dark, I could not see the tracks. My brother Roberto had died from my flirting. And killing that cowboy would not bring him back. I headed back to Roses that night. Let the pistol slip out of my hand. Stopped and I took off my red velvet slippers. Left them to fade in the El Paso sand. Well, a week or so later, the sheriff came in. All of his deputies gathered around. They knew that cowboy would come back to find me. And when he did, they'd gun him down. So up on the hill, overlooking El Paso, I wept like a widow, I mourned like a dove. My brother Roberto had died for my flirting, and now a young cowboy would die for my love. Cradled his head while well, the young cowboy died. Well, I never returned to Rose's Cantina. Packed what I could, and I left town that night. And I never went back for my red velvet slippers. That was how I told El Paso goodbye. All right, Bill, you ready? Yes, sir. I don't know. Did you say me? Oh, no, Bill. I'm sorry. No, it's a very. My bad. Yep. Well, people keep asking me, how Bill's voice? So we're going to let him demonstrate his baritone voice on this song. Background Mostly on Mostly baritone. Background on <laughs> And isn't it wonderful to have William back with us here in the field? Thank you. It's so nice to be here. Thank Uncle you very Bill. much. Thank you. Little little background on the song. 1955, Stuart Hamlin, in lots of Western movies and wrote cowboy songs. Stuart went out in the Sierra Nevada mountains in California and found a trapper's cabin. Trapper was stone cold dead in his rocking chair and the hunting dog about to starve to death in the front porch. So 1955, Stuart got a paper and pencil out and he sat down and wrote this song and um, made a lot of money. And made a lot of money. <clears throat> Bill's part is where he comes in on the chorus. Those of you who watch the Lawrence Welk show will know that he is exact replica of Larry Hooper. I'm a living replica of This Larry old Hooper. house once knew my children. This old house once knew my wife. This old house with so many comfort as we fought storms of life. This old house once rang with laughter. This old house heard many shouts. She trembled in the darkness when the lightning walks about. I ain't gonna need this house no more. I ain't gonna need this house no more. I ain't got time to fix the shingles. I ain't got time to fix the floor. I ain't got time to oil the hinges. Oh, the men that window paint. I ain't gonna need this house no longer. I'ma get ready to meet the saints. Big hand for Bill Barwick. My dad wanted me to grow up to sound like Larry Hooper. So I got to practice in front of TV. 
<clears throat> this old house is a getting chilly. This old house is a feeding pain. This old house that's in the rain. This old house that's in the pain. My knees are a getting chilly. I feel no fear or pain. I see an angel picking through a broken window pane. I ain't gonna need this, this house no more. Ain't gonna need this, this house no more. Ain't got time to fix the shingles. Ain't got time to fix the floor. Ain't got time to oil the hinges. Lord, I'm in that window pane. Ain't gonna need this house no longer. I'ma get ready to meet the saints. Now my old hound dog lies waiting. He don't know I'm gonna leave. As he'd wake up by the fireplace and he'd sit there and howl and grieve. Ready, Bill? No! Oh, oh. I'll do it good. The hunting days are over. Ain't it gonna hunt the coon no more? Gabriel, that brought in my chariot when the wind blew down that door. Ain't it gonna need this, this house no longer? Ain't, ain't gonna need, need this house no more? Ain't got time, time to fix it. Ain't, ain't got, got time. time to fix the floor. Ain't got, got time to oil the hinges or the men that window paint. Ain't, Ain't gonna, gonna need, need this house no longer. I'm gonna get ready to meet the saints. This old house is afraid of thunder. This old house is afraid of storms. The house just groans and trembles when the night wind flings its arms. This house is getting feeble. This house is needing paint. Like me is tuckered out, I'm again ready to meet the saints. Ain't you gonna need this house no longer? Ain't you gonna need this house no more? Ain't got time to fix the shingles. Ain't got time to fix the floor. Ain't got time to oil the hinges. Lord, I'm in that window pane. Ain't you gonna need this house no longer? I'm again ready to meet the saints. Ain't gonna need this house no longer? I'm again ready to meet the saints. Mr. Bill Barwick. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Welcome back, Bill. <clears throat> Mr. Barry Ward is on. Yeah. Isn't it good to have that only man that's got that voice back singing again? That's just awesome, Bill. Yeah. Up in Colorado, where the men on the plains. Well, they fought a battle on an island, and Beecher was its name. Well, 750 warriors, only 50 soldiers. And eight days of hell they prayed it soon would be over. Well, the sun was coming up, all that I could see were mounted warriors are staring down at me and i turned to our commander and i said when should we fire he said set your sights high there were long ways out then i heard someone yell and i turned around and there were men praying they were kneeling on the ground and a sergeant lay in the tall grass, shot through the thigh. And we all prayed this wouldn't be the day we died. Cause Roman Nose was a mighty warrior, big, strong, and proud. And he claimed no bullet could ever take him down. And he charged down the hill, but his medicine was bad. He didn't heed the warning of silver from the medicine man. For eight days we held off every deadly attack And twenty-one of us were wounded for not come back Every horse we had lied dead upon the sand And we ate their rotten flesh for the strength to stand 
Now Roman knows that he's warriors on that fateful run Straight into the lid of the blue coat's guns And the man no bullet could kill, he lied dead in front of me And his blood stained the ground for eternity Now, they say on a cool morning when that sun is rising you can hear the sound of the battles up on the horizon now the river's grown and the island's gone it's changed its course they say long about dusk you'll see roman nose on his horse cause roman nose was a mighty warrior big strong and proud and he claimed no bullet could ever take him down and he charged down the hill but his medicine was bad He didn't heed the warning of silver from the medicine man Well, he didn't heed the warning of silver from the medicine man Thank you. Thanks. Good job. Thanks, man. Yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's that's kind of kind of Cormac McCarthy-ish a little bit there. That was a little dark there, Barry. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, Surprised me. This is a. Uh, this is the first song I ever wrote horseback. Uh, I was working for uh, McGee Creek Pack Station there in uh, Mono County, California, and uh, I was riding a horse. Well, I didn't have any pencils or recording equipment or anything like that. I, I was doing a lot of dunnage trips, uh, hauling three or four mules up the trail, and um, didn't see anybody, so I started working on this song. Um, I had to sing it over and over again until I memorized it. And I was riding a horse named Banner. Uh, well, he was part Morgan, and uh, let's see, he was three quarters. Th uh, he was three quarters Morgan, and one quarter uh, nuts. He was he was just oh, he was bizarre. He was just he would see dead people in the in the trail. He would stop and go, and I'd look around and go, what? And then he'd straighten his head up and just walk on. Anyway, so I started I started working on this deal, and, and it took me two, three weeks. I'd start in the morning about 7 o'clock, and I'd sing this thing over and over again, and there's kind of a yodel thing that goes in it. And uh, by the end of two or three weeks, this horse absolutely detested this song. He just, he, he, I'd start in, he'd pin his ears back, and you could see he was just, oh, God, not again. And the following season, uh, I was back up there, and, and my wife, Melissa, came up, and, and we rode up the canyon, and uh, she rode that horse. And it reminded her of this song, so she started singing it. And you can see that horse just lose the entire will to live. It was just like, no, no, no. Into the canyon with the trail far below Down to the pinion where the sweet water flows Back string behind me in the yellow and light Down to the meadow where we wait for the night
Mountains in shadow, silver with age Moonlight on aspens, granite and sage Horses graze lonesome where the outlet pours down I roll out my blankets and I sleep on the ground My very dear friend, Johanna, singer with the Sons of the San Joaquin, asked me some years ago to write a duet for him to sing with me. And I thought he was kidding, because he was Johanna of the Sons of the San Joaquin. But he meant it, and we were watching a, a silent Western one day. And I was doing my own dialogue. <laughs> I love him so when he rides his horse like that. And he said, you hush. And I said, why? You can't hear the dialogue? And he said, no, look at that woman. Look how beautiful she is. He said, I wish a woman like that would love me. And I went, that's our song, Joe. So I wrote it for Joe. Joe recorded it with me, but he'd lost his wife the year before. And he just was not able to sing it live even though he'd recorded it. And it takes a voice to sing the song. A lot of other men have wanted to sing it, and I've said no. The first one I said yes to was Bill Barwick. I saw his ad on the Lonely Hearts page His words were simple and plain Cowboy seeking, good woman to marry Sierra Nevada range Half dozen horses, hundred odd cows 
widowed and ready to start over now. Kind and good looking, I expect her to be. I hope she'll love me. I got a letter delivered today. That doesn't sound too bad Says she right She can doctor a cow For white situation I start over now Ask me to write her Maybe she'll meet I'd better write back for a change my mind He wrote me a letter that's a good sign told me some things I should know wondered if Tucson was sunny all year had I ever walked in the snow Said he'd be waiting for my next letter I wrote right back, the sooner the better He sounds nice, and maybe we'll meet I hope he'll love me Not good That's a song that uh, won Song of the Year award. Is that? It's huh? because of you. Oh, it's, no, it's because <laughs> of Johanna. You want to do another one with me, Bill? Sure. <clears throat> As I was down night ride, the graveyard shook midnight till dawn. Oh, the moon shone bright as a reading light on a letter from an old friend back home. And he asked me, Why do you ride for your money? And why do you rope for short pay? You ain't getting nowhere and losing your share. I you must have gone crazy out there 
Tells me last night I run into Jenny She's married and has a good life Boy, you sure missed the track when you never came back She's a perfect